This is the Singapore cable car, a gondola providing a skylink from Mount Faber on the main island of Singapore to the resort island of Sentosa across the harbor. Opened in 1974, this was the first aerial ropeway system in the world to span a harbor. I figure, why not use a cable car spanning a great distance to tell you one of the great stories of the gospel spanning a great cultural divide here in Southeast Asia? The first North American missionaries came to Southeast Asia in the early 1800s. Adoniram Judson landed in Burma in 1813. More than a decade later, he had only baptized 18 people. Still, he worked hard to preach, translate the Bible, and build a Baptist missionary organization with his wife, Anne. Then in 1827, Judson became the first missionary to make contact with the Karen people. The Karen were a primitive tribal group scattered among the jungles of the southeast coast. They were a hunted and enslaved minority. After Judson established a relationship with the Karen, he paid the ransom for an illiterate slave named Ko Tabu. Ko was a pretty nasty guy, also known to be a thief and a murderer. Through Judson, Ko found forgiveness through Jesus Christ went on to be an evangelist to his own people. The revival that followed is one of the great stories of modern missions in Southeast Asia. It turns out that Ko Tabu was able to link the gospel of Jesus Christ to an ancient Karen teaching known as the tradition of the elders. According to historian Samuel Moffat, there were remarkable parallels between traditional Karen beliefs and those in the Jewish scriptures. So much so that a number of scholars theorized that the Karen people were linked to Jewish communities before migrating to Southeast Asia. The core of what they called their tradition of the elders was a belief in an unchangeable, eternal, all-powerful God, creator of heaven and earth, of man and of woman, formed from a rib taken from man. They believed in humanity's temptation by a devil and its fall and that someday a Messiah would come to its rescue. They lived in expectation of a prophecy that white foreigners would bring them a sacred parchment roll. Samuel Moffat from A History of Christianity in Asia. Within five years, the Baptist Church in Burma took off. Though it would be the next generation of missionaries who would provide the Bible to the Karen in their own language, their sacred parchment roll, Many Karen viewed Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of their ancient teachings. By the time of Adoniram Judson's death in 1815, there were nearly 8,000 followers of Jesus among the Karen people, with 74 churches, 12 schools, and 114 native pastors. After God, Judson credited the gospel's success in Southeast Asia to the Karen apostle, a redeemed murderer named Ko Tabu. Over 2,000 years ago, the man known as Jesus of Nazareth was born in the small town of Bethlehem in the land of Judea. His extraordinary life, brutal execution, and miraculous resurrection from the dead attest to the truth of his claim to be the only Son of God. This is the story of how Jesus, through the lives of his faithful followers, has become known around the world, impacting all of human history from the first century until today. This is Drive Through History, Ends of the Earth.